So I've been getting a few requests about creating a settings guide. So in this video, I'll be sharing my settings that helped me get to Immortal. But before that, a quick reminder, I do monthly giveaways and free weekly VOD reviews. So make sure to join my Discord for more info. And huge thanks to Skies for creating a Discord server for the community. Hey, I'm Zaltras Kang and I was able to hit Immortal on top of working as well as studying. And I'm here to share everything I did that got me the quickest results so that you can do the same, if not better. Alright, so let's dive in quickly. In terms of the general settings, we have text language, English, enemy highlight color, red, purple, yellow. I use all three. I like to switch between each of them every week so that I don't have autopiloting. Because sometimes if you look at the same color over and over again, you start to get comfortable and you start to kind of brush over it and uh, you might miss your enemy. So I like to go between red, purple, yellow. Now as for sensitivity, um, I made a full sensitivity guide, so I'll be linking that in this video as well as the description down below. So make sure to check that out. But my recommended sensitivity is anywhere between 0.07 all the way until 0.12. If you stay in that range, you're most likely going to hit your shots 90% of the time with enough practice because I'm a true believer that this game benefits from lower sense. In terms of scope sensitivity multiplier, this one, it's like you can just leave it at 1, but I like to usually raise it a bit when I do below 0.1. But if I use a sensitivity higher than 0.1, um, I like to keep it at just 1. ADS sensitivity multiplier, this one I would honestly just recommend kind of lowering it. I think a range of 0.8 all the way to 1 is fine. But in terms of sensitivity, like I said, it's all personal preference, but I do have a video so you could check that out. Thank you. All right, so I would say this is the most important setting that you need to change to kind of have an easier time playing this game. Um, I've explained in my crosshair placement video on how you can use the map to actually pre-aim properly without the need of going into custom games and actually practicing each angle. So you look at the map and as long as the tip kind of points to the direction that you're trying to peek to, you're most likely 9 out of 10 times going to have perfect crosshair placement. So as shown in the video, if you want to set it up like that, make sure to have the map on rotate, keep player centered off, mini map size. I would honestly recommend having it at 1.2 uh, but for those of you that have a bigger monitor you can lower it to about 1.1 but the important part is the minimap zoom you want to have it at about 0.9 so that whatever map you use either it's lotus icebox or even small maps like ascent your entire map will be shown in this minimap so minimap zoom is the important one you can have it smaller but you should never have it bigger than 0.9 because the moment you go over 0.9 you're going to start seeing like edges of the map kind of get cut off because of the circular part of the minimap uh minimap vision cones you should have this on show map region names if you know the callouts you can honestly just have it on only in by phase or even never but i would i just like to keep it on just in case um, I need to do a quick call out and if I can't remember I just have to press the caps lock button and I can quickly see where is where and give call outs. Um, privacy, this one is just, it's whatever. Um, hide my riot ID from players outside my party. If you don't want your name to be shown, you can turn this on. Uh, use generic names for players outside my party. This is for your team. So your team's gonna be labeled as Jet, Neon, Reyna, Cypher, etc. Only allow party requests, again, personal preference. Um, in terms of other show new player tips, you could have this on when you're like a new player. But I would honestly recommend turning it off as it starts to kind of crowd your game. And it's going to draw your attention away from your actual gunplay sometimes. Uh, first person handedness. I used to use left when I played CS. That's the only reason why I play left. If you were to go off of like these scientific studies, if you're left eye dominant, you should be using the right. If you're right eye dominant, you should be using your left. But again, you don't have to worry too much. So this one, you can just experiment. There is no right answer. Um, so yeah, always show inventory off, player loadouts off, off, off. Uh, show mature content. This is just, you know, personal preference. If you have it as on, uh, you can show blood. So in instead of like those sparks when you shoot someone, uh, you can actually see red like blood. Um, I would honestly recommend using show blood as the color red is a bit more visual than the sparks. But in the server that I play in Korea, we can't have the mature content on. Um, but in APAC, you can. And I like to use it when I can. Um, instability in indicators, you can have this on or off. Uh, it's just like 
they're, they're just the the things that pop up on the right side whether you're having like packet loss um, Wi-Fi connections frame drops um, but you know it's just personal preference network buffering you should have it as minimum show bullet tracers I would honestly have this on because if you're spraying sometimes those tracers actually do help you know where your bullet is going and it's very beneficial when it comes to spraying uh, show specter count some people say off uh, because you might feel pressured if you see like you know spectator one two three um, but I don't really mind so I keep it on all right so controls these are all pretty much like personal preference you know some people they use like their ability to as mouse button as well as their ability three you know but i like to keep my ultimate at v so that i could quickly press it uh wasd normal walk default movement run my walk is x the only reason why it's x is because i used to play siege as well and when i play siege my walk key was my x key um that's the only reason why but you could keep it as shift my jump space bar my crouch is at left shift because when i played cs that is what i used um and yeah that's that's pretty much it for the actions in terms of equipment i think this is the one thing that you should change is toggle zoom level so what i mean by so what toggle zoom level is is when you watch some pros you may have noticed that they could go zoom in and zoom out without the need of like unscoping and doing this you know so the way they do it is they have this toggle zoom level assigned so right now mine is the thumb mouse button so every time i press it in a scoped in state i can zoom in and zoom out and i think i think everybody should be using this because sometimes when you're holding an angle and you accidentally zoomed in too much imagine you scope out and an enemy pops up it, it feels like shit, right so having this button is i think necessary especially when you're a chamber jet neon someone that uses the op a lot uh, make sure to have the toggle zoom level on um other than that everything is pretty much normal this one auto equip priorities i would honestly i would honest if you're a neon player you should put it at strongest because most of the time you're going to be using your strongest gun but if you're a yoru main someone that might need a shorty over like a vandal sometimes you should have it as most recently equipped because the moment you have strongest on let's say you have a marshal and a shorty and you play yoru you ult you go into sight you get out of ult if you have it at strongest your marshal is gonna your marshal is gonna come out but if you have it at most recently equipped and you have your shorty equipped and then you go into your ult then your shorty is gonna come out so if you're a yoru main or someone that needs to use a secondary equipment uh, make sure to have it as most recently equipped but if you're an agent that does not really need to have a secondary weapon uh, make sure to have it as strongest now don't auto equip melee i think this one should be checked because i can't think of any scenario where you would need a melee to to kill an enemy out of like an ability state so i would recommend turning this on um, inspect this is probably why for you but i just like to inspect my gun more than spraying so i just changed the inspect and why um, and the spray so for yours it's probably going to be a y and t but this one it doesn't really matter um next communication party voice team voice again whatever is comfortable i have mine as the thumb mouse button uh tactical callouts in chat i i just like to turn all of this off because the more things that are on your screen uh the more distractions so i like to just keep it off um the pings yours is probably at z but i like to just use the middle mouse button because it's it just, i just have an easier time um pressing it while i'm in a locked in state because if i want to press z i would have to use my ring finger on my left hand but what if i have to move like what if an enemy pops up and i have to press a while i'm pinging i can't right so i just like to use it as the middle mouse button and then i have the toggle cursor as the z button because I don't, I don't think you would ever use a toggle cursor unless you're trying to add a friend or yeah i don't i don't really think you would ever use it in game so i have it as the z key so other than that everything is normal in terms of control crosser i'll be creating a full crosser video where i rank my top five crossers that help me get to immortal so make sure to you know check that video out once it drops i'll have it in the description down below once i get it going as well as in this video 
Um, other than that, Crosshair is literally personal preference. If you can see it well, if you've been shooting well with it, then make sure to just stick with that. All right, so on to the video. I would say this is kind of important. Um, I would turn everything off because there's no reason to limit your FPS. Um, in terms of NVIDIA reflex low latency, from what I know, if you have it at on and boost, you might lose a bit more FPS, but it's it's not to the point where you're going to notice it. So if you do have the option of using it, make sure to put it on on and boost. Uh, in terms of display mode, make sure to have it on full screen so that you can have the least latency. Now onto the graphics quality, multi-threaded rendering, you should have it as on. If you have any PC that is older than I would say like six years, you might have to experiment it going off and on. Uh, seeing what performs better because the CPUs that come out nowadays have a lot of core counts So multi-threaded rendering is very beneficial, but long time ago We used to have less core counts, but higher frequency. So maybe utilizing one core at a time might give you a better Performance so in those cases you should have it as off but again most people should have it as on Material quality, texture, detail, UI quality, I like to have everything off. Vignetti, V-Sync, off, off. Anti-aliasing, none. Anisotropic filtering, I like to have it as 1x. Everything off. So everything is on low or off. Other than that, I don't think it's really necessary to have it as, you know, high or medium. Because, like, you're trading FPS for quality. But in this game, it's, I think keeping it as simple as possible is the best that you can do um, the more texture there is the more detail there is it's just gonna make it harder for your eye to differentiate between an object or an enemy um, and it, it's just there's just a lot of distractions which is why I like to keep everything off um, but the only setting that I would change would be the experimental sharpening um, if your PC can literally go over 700 I would honestly like recommend turning this on but for me I've noticed like I wouldn't say significant FPS drops, but I do have like 40 to 20 FPS difference when I do have this on. So I like to just keep it off. In terms of stats, you can have whatever stats you want. I would recommend having your client FPS on and the shooting error on to graph only. If you have the shooting error on, you can record your gameplay, see if you're moving and shooting. But again, that's just personal preference. I just like to have it on so that I could replay rewatch and see whether or not I missed my shot or if I was just moving. Um, so it's just a good indicator to see whether or not you need to improve your movement or your actual raw aim. Now in terms of audio, um, the things that I would change would be the voiceover. Uh, the voiceover is the audio that comes out like spike planted. So those are voiceovers. Sound effects are like your, your actual like in-game gun sounds. So you just have to kind of switch these two. Um, if you don't really like how the like spike planet is so loud, you can always decrease it. Um, but I don't know. I, I, I've been comfortable with having both of them at full volume. Um, but for those of you that are kind of annoyed by it, you could probably drop it to like 50% and you should be fine. Store video, I'd honestly recommend this dropping it because if you have it at full, some old skins like the Imperium Vandal, if you watch the store video, it just destroyed my ears. So I like to keep this as low as possible. Um, all music, um, you know, it's just it's just lobby music and things like that. Uh, you could have it on or off, personal preference. Um, in terms of speaker configuration, you should have it as stereo. HRTF, I would honestly have it on. But I have a friend that is in Radiant, um, shitting on Radiants that have it off. So, you know, it's I guess it's personal preference, whatever you like. But I like to have it on because I find it easier to kind of dictated where the enemy is at in terms of voice chat you know you can leave all of these at default incoming volume i would honestly just recommend dropping it by like this much because you know in game there, there's people that scream into the mic you know they terrorize the um party voice or the team voice um so just in, just in case you can always raise someone's volume but you know their base volume is always at 50 and if they scream into your ears in a clutch situation you know how it goes so i just like to keep it off just in case um everything else is just on on push to talk on uh voiceover again gameplay agent these are all just literally the in-game cues you can turn off whatever you don't want to hear but i like to just keep all of this on so to recap the important parts the map rotate off 1.2 0.9 on always controls equipment 
toggle zoom level, thumb mouse button. Aim down sights, you could do hold. Sniper rifle, you can do hold. Um, and the toggle zoom level is especially important when you have the sniper rifle, sniper rifle at at hold, because if you have it at hold, there's no way for you to scope in unless you have the toggle zoom level. So again, toggle zoom level. That is very important. Crosshair, I'll be making a separate guide. So I'd appreciate it if you can watch that as well. Um, in terms of video, I think the only important part is limit FPS always to off. And um, other than that, uh, the rest is personal preference. And I've shared my settings. So that's it for today's guide. I hope I cleared any questions regarding game settings. If you have any more questions regarding this topic or something else, make sure to leave a comment. Thank you everyone for watching. And as always, happy rank games.